Joined live in studio this morning at the top of the tower by Arthur Hughes and Anthony Boyle, the superstars of Shard Lake. It's a great <laughs> new series. No, I really, you guys are, you guys are so good in this. I was, oh, I was taken aback by you. it. Thank um, you, Ryan. No, really, it's on Disney Plus. It starts on May the first, and I think that people who've read the C.J. Sansom books, as I've read about uh, three of them, I think it's really loyal to the books. I think that's re- an important mm. thing for 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 the series as well. One thing I also liked, Arthur, was the idea that uh, you identify as limb different. And, and I think that that's when I read the book C.J. Sansom so many people read, read these books I was like how are they going to do this that is in a respectful way uh, that is uh, in a kind way and mm. a decent way in a dignified way talk to me about the character and talk to me about you bringing that character alive uh, well, I, th- I think it was really important uh, that a disabled actor played Shard Lake he's a disabled man and yeah, yeah for me I don't have scoliosis I'm a uh, it's, it's, not my uh it's not the way my body works but i wanted to find some truth in how how i how i look and how i move and how shard lake moves and it was you know the kind of uh difference in you know balance for me i wanted that to be something with him i didn't want to affect something completely i wanted it to be kind of based in truth with me so i worked with a movement director and uh you know did research into you know how people would you know um move fix that condition maybe in the day like and um so we came up with the way because i you know i think often these portrayals of people with you know a hunchback to use that you know kind of archaic term yeah it's often quite it's it, it's too much i wanted something to be real something yeah. that we kind of see day to day and i think i do think we've got that but um oh i but, think you got it you got mm. it completely don't you yeah. i mean it was it, 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 the disability for want of a better word it just disappeared yeah, uh, and I think that's the smartness of this. Program. Well, it's it's the least interesting thing about Shard Lake. Yes, yeah, strangely, and like most disabled people, it's the least interesting thing about them. Yeah, um, uh, and that's the thing. This isn't a show about disability, but the lead character yeah. is a disabled man, and it's about him how good a d- detective he is and how complex a person he is. Yeah, for sure. And and uh, do you want to remind me a little? It's like Wolf Hall, Wolf mm, Hall, yeah. but, but fun. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, and I, I say that respectfully to Wolf Hall. Yeah. but it just had because Wolf Hall it, it's a similar it's Henry VIII and, yeah, yeah. and it's it, it it's all similar characters. But this one is it's yeah. it's a crime. It's, That's it's a decent like, tagline all the, as well. All the stuff. <laughs> Wolf Hall, but better crack. Yeah, more crack. I didn't want to say that, but we, <laughs> you as a fellow Irish yeah. fellow yeah. understand that. But yeah, Wolf, go ahead, Arthur. Wolf Hall is you know that's all going on in London in court. Yeah, this is this is a story of two guys who are trying to solve something else going on. Whilst all the all the stuff all the Tudors are. Yeah. Big bickering amongst themselves, and we're dealing with the fallout of all that. Yes, somewhere else in the country. Because that's, the, that's it. The monasteries are being closed down by Henry. Yeah. I mean, even in the first episode, and you guys are called into it. There's been a murder at yeah. one of the monasteries, and everyone wants a piece of the action. Yeah, they all want the, what's be what's the spoils of yeah. of religious uh, excess or what have yeah. you. And the murder, like, what a great setting they, yeah. for the opening episode because yeah. it's 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 got got that whole sense of the smells of the place and yeah. the atmosphere. For the way, it's a perfect setting, and just short of Gregorian chanting in your head as yeah, you're watching yeah, it. I mean, yeah, yeah. It, it's it's terrific. That that first episode again. Tell us tell us a bit about that. What can people expect? Well, it's, just, it's just so exciting. It's just got all the good hallmarks of a good thriller. All the good hallmarks of a thriller. It's yeah. so exciting. It's uh, it's sexy. There's horses. I'm wearing a cob piece. Yeah, you know, there's there's a lot going on. How's the cod piece working out for you? Unbelievable. Because I, I, we 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 bumped into each other in a pub in uh, Soho the other day, <laughs> yeah. as it happens, and uh, I was shocked to see you wearing the cod no, piece. I was just happy to see you around. I think they're all sold out in the Disney store. Now, I think right? I think, yeah, okay. yeah. <laughs> not not another cod piece, yeah. eh? <laughs> that chart link's going well, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> Look what these guys just started. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna um, be the new fashion statement. It's gonna be Halloween. Is gonna like a quick. Get your cut piece fast because they're going to be gone like hotcakes. Yeah. Uh, Anthony, I know we met before briefly, but uh, you're a Belfast man originally, mm-hmm. is that right? Yeah, yeah. How long are you living in the UK? I've been uh, nipping about the place, America and, and London. You since have? About, about 18, 19, so about 10 years. And you were on the West End in a, in something I'm dying to go and see, which was Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. Yeah, Is yeah. that as much fun as they say? It? Yeah, it was. It was a while ago now. I was cutting about with a blonde wig. And shitting with, expelliarmus at people it was, it was good fun yeah. Malfoy, you were, I was Malfoy. Uh, and you won an award for it Olivier I, for I it. did yeah, yeah. Olivier, yeah exciting times and then look just looking through the, 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 the roles between Tolkien and Tetris the plot against America of course that's the Philip yeah. Roth book great, yeah, great, yeah, great, yeah. great book great series and uh, Masters of the Air which is the 
third in the Band of Brothers mm-hmm. unofficial trilogy. How was that to film and make it? Yeah, amazing, man. Just unbelievable. Like, we shot it during COVID. Yeah. So you were just locked in a hotel room and then suddenly you were on set flying planes. Bizarre. 250 cast. It was just an unbelievable time, man. Really yeah. good fun. And uh, what a strange... And Barry Keoghan's in that yeah, too. Yeah, Barry was in it too. Do you yeah. know Barry a little bit? I do, yeah, yeah. You'd know he was in the room, wouldn't you? You would know he was in the room. Yeah, you would. We leave that there, will we? Yeah, yeah, Let's yeah. move on. Okay, uh, Arthur, <laughs> Arthur, meanwhile. I, <laughs> uh, you're you're uh, the list of, between different things that you worked in, but Richard III, you were the first, it says here, disabled actor to do to play Richard III. Is that right? At the RSC. At the R- How was that yeah. for you? It was it was incredible. It was was uh, it important yeah. for you? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I th- you know, I wanted to play Richard since I probably knew who Shakespeare was probably yeah. you know when I was at school, um, and yeah, I'd have I'd have played him anywhere. I was always like, at some point, I will do Richard the Third somewhere. Yeah. How old were you yeah. doing that? Because you're a young man. I turned thirty when I was doing it. Yeah, interesting. Um, so uh, I think yeah, I think he was thirty three when he died. Um, yeah. But yeah, it was it was incredible. It was knackering. There was a point where we, you know, we did eight shows a week, two on a Thursday, I one know, on Friday, I... two on a Saturday. So it was five dicks in seventy-two hours. Dick the third, um, you know. <laughs> I, I, I I I I didn't hear any of that other than to say you were talking about Richard. Yeah, uh, that's what third. I meant. I don't have to. No. It's very... <laughs> So I, I thought you referred to it, the other, oh, sorry, the other, yeah, the no. other, the other film career oh, that no, we're not no, allowed to talk about. I meant Richard. We're back, we're back, we're back on the cold pieces and again. The, here we go. You guy. Oh, that's very, 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 very. Disney very, Plus, very. Arthur. It's Disney Plus. Remember, <laughs> yeah, Disney. Yeah. I'm gonna swerve left again. You are. That's great. Um, what, 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 what other projects have you got coming down the line? I'm kind of nervous now. Uh, 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 <laughs> it's, uh, it's, um, well, it's kind of wide open for me now. Uh, oh, don't really know what. Um, Jesus Christ. No. It's a long day. I don't know what uh, what's next, really. It's uh, it's a bit of time off. Yeah. Just finished uh, a job uh, at the Globe, just down the road from here. Yes, um, doing Duchess of Malfi on stage again. But um, yeah, no, Is, um, isn't it the we'll see what, how Shardlake does? The, well, it's gonna do it's gonna do tremendously. I have no doubt about it. And you know, the on stage thing. Sorry, just back to what you were saying before you mm. mentioned the other was how. <laughs> Uh, how anyone on on a stage anywhere does that eight performances a week? Um, I'd like it was exhausting over I mean, yeah, and over and, it was, and over. It was for wasn't. about you know four months, but it was. I think when you've you know and you know this, and so doing a show that long, like it it's it becomes a different skill in not getting bored and trying to yeah. mine find something new with it each time. <laughs> I was going to meet Killian Donnelly. I don't know if you know Killian. He was the uh, uh, John Valjean right. uh, and for and Les Mis for quite some time and Phantom. And he's on the barricades doing Bring Him Home, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, we were going for a pint and he said, mm-hmm. I've just been off the, on the barricades singing Bring Him Home. And in his head was, Gee, I'm dying for that pint. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you get that when you're oh, on oh, stage? Absolutely. Is, is I, that, I yeah. can start to taste it. No. Within the last kind of 10 minutes of the show. <laughs> I do. I do. I go, you know, I'll be backstage being like, I can taste it. I can taste it. it. It's kind of, you, you do start to. And then, yeah, it's the, and it's then you the, back in. As it's the sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought, I'm not going to Gotta kill a pint. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Anthony, what's coming up? What can we expect from you? Because uh, this was this is about a year ago you finished rapping. So what's what's yeah. on the cards? Is I it stage? A, is it screen? Is uh, it I got another thing coming out. Uh, uh, a thing called Say Nothing. Um, oh, yeah. The Patrick Reed and Coof novel. But, oh um, yeah, that's the the serious uh, the troubles. Yeah, 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 yeah. The serious. Yeah, about the troubles. It comes out in um, I think in the summer. Yeah. I think that's going to be on Disney and, and Hulu also. Okay, interesting. Yeah, yeah. So there's lots going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a it's a good show, man. It's very like um, you know, it's about uh, Jerry Adams and, and Brendan Hughes and and the Price sisters. Yes. In um in uh, early seventies until yeah. the inception of that, that IRA. Yes. And um yeah, it's very very intense, very different from Shard Lake. There's no cob pieces. <laughs> no, not in that one. Just, <laughs> no, no. Just well, some the, petrol bombs, but no cob yeah. pieces. Different story, different time. <laughs> there we There's go. no doubt about it. Yeah, yeah. But skullduggery everywhere we look. Uh, okay, so uh, the Shard Lake, which I really really loved, is uh, on from May the first on Disney Plus. It stars Arthur Hughes and Anthony Boyle, who have been. Uh, our guests this morning uh, this afternoon I should say lads in fairness to you because you had the premiere last night you're looking great uh, (laughs) you're sounding great and I've never heard Shakespeare described so beautifully (laughs) as I have it's just his nickname (laughs) I'm sure Nixon was tricky dicky (laughs) come on we're all friends here Uh, lads congratulations don't be strangers see you in the queer place in due course and good luck with it all thank you man thank you gentlemen (laughs) 